Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this um, this little circuit that with one one move, basically, you can change the circuit from a from a, a, a dual power supply circuit to a voltage doubler. As long as the little transformer that you're using has a center tap. For it to be a voltage doubler, you don't need the center tap. All you need is your little bridge rectifier. Your AC will go onto the bridge rectifier, as it normally does, either side. Your negative will come out the negative. The positive will come out the positive, as they normally do. And then on the positive side, we'll put a capacitor. So the positive leg of the capacitor goes to the positive side and we will then meet with another capacitor and bridge with the negative side of this capacitor uh, the positive side of this capacitor going to the negative side of this capacitor and the negative and the negative and the negative side will come here to the negative lead coming out of your bridge rectifier what this will give us is basically two two capacitors uh, in series and so what we will get is this is 14 volts once it's dc regulated we're talking about 19 and a half 20 volts and if you can see that there 19.5 yep now if we want that voltage to double all you gotta do is have another wire where your ac went in yeah this is exactly the same place and the same um, line of sockets is where your AC went in and we'll just put the out part of that in between these two capacitors now basically what happens now is that voltage gets doubled it is no longer a 19 and a half volts it's now 39 maybe 40 volts Yay! It's about as crude and simple as you get. Um, and now something else that you can do with this. If your transformer there has a little center tap coming off it, like this does here, what you can do is you can, you can take this wire out that you've just used to make it a voltage doubler. Take that out. And in between these two capacitors, where you had that wire, put your center tap. And then what you get then, so let's just pop this in. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me to do without the tweezers. Because the end on this isn't, um, it's a bit frayed. Okay. So I put that in there. Sorry if you didn't see that. Uh, there it is between those two capacitors that's the center tap and now what we've got what we got what we got now is we have a zero voltage we have a positive voltage and we have a negative voltage so the zero positive and the negative effectively we've got a dual power supply using the center tap of that of that secondary and I'll show you so if I put, um, oh, first, yeah, if I put this in here and just connect it to one of these legs of the capacitor, it doesn't matter which one because it's just making that bridge circuit and it's going to be connected to the center tap basically. Uh, and then if I put the power down so we can see what's on there, and we got positive 18.3. It's going down because really, uh, do you know, I don't actually know what it's going down. But that's that's where it's supposed to be anyway. So, and if I take that off, and I take this positive lead here, let's connect that, and I come round to this side, and I connect that there. What we then get is the negative side. So from here we got the positive, and here. We got the negative, the dual power supply. Simple, 
Cheers for watching, guys.